Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to divide polynomials using long division. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. Now, I'm going to tell you from the beginning, this example here won't have a remainder, and we'll have a next video that does. But here we have a problem. We want to find the quotient. We have x squared plus 9x plus 20 divided by x plus 5. So let's go set up the long division for these polynomials. We take the x plus 5, and just like normal long division, it's going into, well, the first part here, x squared plus a 9x plus a 20. And so now we want to focus on, well, our first term, the x term, x squared term right here. What? multiplied by, just looking at this first x here, gets me x squared. And that's going to be just an x. So I line it up over the 9x right here. And x times an x gives me an x squared. So as I have that solidified, I continue on. x times the 5 gives me a 5x plus a 5x here. Now, it's kind of tricky with a plus right here, plus 5x, but we need to subtract the 2. So we kind of write this whole thing as a subtraction, and we're eliminating down. x squared minus an x squared becomes a 0. That's what we wanted. 9x minus a 5x here is a 4x. From there, just like our normal long division, we bring down the plus 20. And from here, we ask ourselves the same question again. What times x gives me the 4x? And that's going to be 4. 4 times the x gives me a 4x. Continue on. 4 times a 5 is the 20. And now we want to subtract the top and bottom here. 4x minus 4x, that's a 0. And 20 minus the 20 is a 0. And that's the clue here. Once we have the 0 at the end, we know we don't have a remainder. And so our question here of x squared plus 9x plus 20 divided by x plus 5 comes out to be an x plus a 4. And x plus 4 is our final answer. I hope you learned something here on how to divide polynomials using long division. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.